Hi, in this video I'll show you how to build a simple deep learning environment. We need to have four items to do that. The first item is a package called Miniconda, which is as which is a free minimal installer for Anaconda. Anaconda it's a a, a package set which contains 1500 kind of packages and uh, require 3 gigabyte size and it's used mainly to uh, do a kind of data processing and data analysis in deep learning. Uh, if you have a good good computer or good PC with a high processing you can install Anaconda but for simplicity you can use Miniconda as a lightweight version. Okay. So this is the first one. Uh, the second one we need to update, or to, if you don't have Python, you need to install the latest Python version. It's I guess right now it's 3.8, so you can download it from the from the internet. Then we need to have another item or package called Apache MXNet, which is a kind of learning framework for the uh, framework for deep learning, and it's available here in this link and it's it provides a, a rich uh, tools and packages to again to do a kind of data processing and data collections to build model for deep learning and use to to calculate the errors and other stuff so this is the third item the last one is an open source web application that allows you to create and share document that contains live code. It, you can write different kind of codes using Jupyter Network such as Python 3, C++, Ruby and others. So let's begin building the environment. First of all we need to go to the terminal. Okay. So the first step is to, uh, to install Miniconda. There are different ways of doing that. Probably the easiest way is to go to the link of Miniconda or the website and to install it from there. So based on your on your uh, platform, you can install it either either using Windows or Micros, uh, Mac or Linux. So in my case, I have it. Uh, I'm using Mac. I'm gonna download the package of the latest package of Miniconda, which is 3.8. You can also use the command to, to install it by typing sh mini conda latest dash mac mac os x then the x86 score 64.sh-b So you can use any way of them. I prefer to use the package because uh, it's way easier and it avoids any command error. Okay, now it's ready. I'm click on the, I click on the package. Continue, continue, continue. Agree. Install it for me only. So I already have it actually in my computer, so it will not be installed. It will tell me that it's already installed, so it will fail. But anyway, this is the way how to install it. Uh, move to the trash. So now we have uh, the Miniconda uh, package is installed. Now we need to create. A deep learning environment under Miniconda. So we can say create or sorry we can say we say conda create dash name let's call it d2l deep to learning and dash y. Now he's creating an environment of deep learning 
it's being created okay now we need to activate uh, this environment in order to install the rest of packages uh, the mxnet the python and then we open the jupyter notebook from from there so we need to say conda activate d2l we are now working under d2l environment okay so now the next step is we need to install the latest uh, uh, Python uh, version. So we say conda install Python equal, uh, I guess, 3.7 right now or probably more. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Depends on the latest version. Pip dash one. So now we are installing the the Python under the uh, D2L environment. So now it's done. Now we need to install the MXNet Apache MXNet package or framework. So the easiest way in order to avoid any mistakes, you can go to the MXNet website and you go to the get started here in the get started to tell you exactly how to do it so it depends on the which version you'd like to use probably the, the the latest version is the best and here you define which environment or which platform you are uh, working on so this is I'm using Microsoft sorry I'm using Mac operating system and I will I need to use Python here we have the GPU and CPU. It depends on on how good your your platform, your operating system. If you have a good processor with a, a good memory, RAM memory, you probably you can use the GPU. It provides you with extra features regarding the graphicals. Or otherwise, you can use the CPU if you have. If you are not sure about that, so I'm clicking on CPU and the distribution. I'm using the PIP or PIP. It will show me here is the what's the command. So pip install mxnet. Okay. Copy and paste and put it there. Enter. Now we start installing the uh, mxnet uh, framework. Probably it will take a while. No, actually it's done because it's I'm already I already installed it. So now we can use now the Jupyter Notebook, but in, in order to make sure that we have the latest uh, packages installed, we need to write this command. So pip install dash y. So we need to make sure that all packages and frameworks are the latest so we here just to make sure that it's up to date uh, no such it will say no such oh it should be u capital i guess okay now it should work so it's checking that we, i haven't i'm having the latest uh, packages So it's done. Now we are ready to use the the IDE uh, environment for the deep learning, which is the Jupyter. So we can write now Jupyter notebook. Enter. Now it will it's a web base. It will open the Jupyter uh, environment. So if I would like to create a project regarding uh, for deep learning using Python, I can click on new and I'm opening now the, the, uh, the project. So here I will, I can write the Python code and can, I can execute it. Uh, I will show you uh, in the next slides how to use uh, the Jupyter notebook. And uh, that's it for this uh, video. Thank you.